Hi and welcome to this video on the demonstration of linear regression using scikit-learn library in Python. I am Raghavendra, an expert in AI, ML and data engineering. By the end of this video, you will be able to learn how to implement a simple linear regression model using the scikit-learn library learn how to evaluate the performance metrics of linear regression models. In this demo, we are going to use a vehicle fuel consumption data set which is available on the Government of Canada website. This is an open data set that is available for free download. The link for the download is available here. This data set has 14 features and one target variable. The target variable here is the CO2 emission of the car. The problem statement that we are going to solve in this particular demo is to predict the CO2 emission of the car based on the characteristics of the car. For simplicity, we are going to look at only one feature here, which is the engine size. So our problem statement is to predict the CO2 emission of the car based on its engine size. Now let's write down a generic linear regression equation. It would be CO2 emission which is the target equal to A0 which is the intercept plus A1 which is the coefficient for the independent variable engine size multiplied by the engine size. So, this gives us the generic linear regression equation. Now, let us start with this particular linear regression problem. First, we have imported all the required libraries. We have the usual pandas and numpy library which we will be using to load the data. Next, we have the scikit-learn library where we import the linear regression model from the linear model subset. Next is the metrics library from scikit-learn where we are importing the mean squared error and the R2 score. This will help us to get the performance metrics for this particular linear regression model. And finally, we have imported the matplotlib library for generating the plots. Let's next import the data set that we have. We have this fuel consumption data set in a CSV format and hence we have used a pd.read underscore CSV that is pandas read CSV method to import this file. Let us also quickly check the preview of this particular data set using the head method. So as you can see, we have all these features over here. We have the model year, make, model, vehicle class and so on and we have the target variable which is CO2 emissions in grams per kilometer. So we have all the values that are required for the analysis. Let us now quickly check the shape of this particular data to know how many records we have. In this data set, we have 1049 records and we have 15 columns. Let us quickly also check the information of this data set to know whether there are any missing values. So if you carefully observe, we luckily don't have any missing values in this particular data set. For all the features, we have all the 1049 as non-null values and for most of these variables, the data type has been detected correctly. So, let us start with our linear regression problem. Currently, we are going to use only one independent variable, which is the engine size. Let's now separate the feature and the target in numpy arrays x and y. We create x and y as numpy arrays and store these independent and dependent variables in them. So we are creating two new numpy arrays. First is x where we will store engine size which is the independent variable. y will store the target or the dependent variable which is the CO2 emissions. 
This is a particular use case of simple linear regression and hence x consists of only one column which makes it a one dimensional array. We will have to reshape this and convert it to a two dimensional array. This is a special thing that we need to take care of when we are having only one feature in our independent variables. For training ML models using scikit-learn, remember the array x should always be a two-dimensional array of numbers. So to summarize, we have two numpy arrays. In x, we have stored our independent variable, which is the engine size. And in array y, we have stored our dependent variable, which is CO2 emissions. Next, let us quickly try to visualize how these variables are behaving with each other. And the best way to do it is to plot a scatter plot. So you can see from this scatter plot that these two variables are indeed linearly related. So we can see that as we have an increase in the engine size, there is also an increase in the CO2 emission of that particular vehicle. So, we can model this relationship using linear regression. Let's now split the data into train and test. For that, we will import the train test split from scikit-learn.model selection. We are opting for a test size of 0.25 and set the seed that is random state to 0. Train test split outputs four arrays, X train, X test, Y train, and Y test. Next, we shall start training the linear regression model. We shall first instantiate the linear regression class and get an object of that class, which in our case is LR. Next, we use the fit method on this object to train the model and obtain the coefficients of linear regression. To this fit method, we pass the training samples X train and Y train. So, we have a linear regression model which models the data of CO2 emissions against the engine size. So now let's try to print the intercept and the coefficient of the regression model for the trained data set. We want to calculate the values of A0 and A1. The A0 is the intercept over here and A1 which is the slope which is nothing but the coefficient. So let us print these values. The intercept of the trained linear regression model is given by the parameter lr dot intercept underscore. And in the similar way, we can also get the value of the coefficient. Here we have only one coefficient and the coefficient of the linear regression model is given by lr dot coef underscore. So, we can see that the intercept for this particular model that is the value of A0 is 139.38 and the value of the coefficient A1 is 36.25. So using these we write this equation as CO2 emission is 139.38 plus 36.25 times the engine size. So this is our final linear regression model to calculate the CO2 emissions based on the engine size. This equation will be used to make predictions on an unseen test data set, which we had separated earlier. Let's make predictions now on the test set. We use the predict method on the linear regression object by passing the test features. This method uses the above equation internally to make predictions. The predicted values will be stored in an array ypred. Let us visualize this particular linear regression line. 
So what we are going to do is when we are going to plot a scatter plot for x test and y test and on the same line we are also going to plot the linear regression line y pred which is obtained from the above equation. So this line in red represents the equation CO2 emission equals to 139.38 plus 36.25 times engine size. This models a relationship between the engine size and that is how you implement a simple linear regression model using scikit-learn library in Python. It's a very straightforward approach to implement it, isn't it? Also, the line obtained here is the best fit line which has the least minimum deviation from all the data points. Now, once we are done with the implementation of this particular linear regression model, it is time to evaluate this particular model. Now, the two important metrics that are used to evaluate any linear regression model are the R squared value and the mean squared error. So, scikit-learn again provides us with very simple way to get these evaluation metrics for a linear regression model. Let us try to calculate that now. The R squared value or the variance score is calculated using the method R2 underscore score from scikit-learn dot metrics which we had imported before. We pass y test and y pred to this method. We get an R2 score of 0.697 which means that around 69.71% of the variance in the target column which is the CO2 emissions is explained by the input feature which is the engine size. In other words, if you know the engine size, you will have 69% of the information to make an accurate prediction about the CO2 emissions. Similarly, we can also calculate the mean squared error. Mean underscore squared underscore error is the method from scikit-learn dot metrics class to calculate the mean squared error or the MSE. We pass the y test and y pred values to this method as well. We get the MSE as 984.5004. This means that this is the least possible error of the best fit line from the data points. So, in this video, we have seen the implementation of a simple linear regression using the scikit-learn library and the calculation of evaluation metrics for a simple linear regression model. Thank you for watching this video.